Hello, hello, what's up everybody? I am back again. And we are ready to do this. Some more Darkwood. Ever since last week, I have been craving to get back into this game. So yes, I'm excited to do it. Even though we're probably going to die three quarters of the way through the game and have to start all over again. But we started the day off, or the stream off, I should say, with the delightful discussion of Hitler and how much of a genius orator he was, because he was, even though he was crazy. It, his, his stuff tended, tends to follow the sequence of logical, 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 slightly less logical, but still makes sense. Logical. Oh, wow, this makes so much sense. I, I am poor and I hate everyone. Or my economy just crashed. Logical. Kill a bunch of people. And then, since everything else was logical before it, everyone was like, why don't we kill a bunch of people? <laughs> because people are crazy. Um, so, yeah. It's actually really interesting. Things that follow the path of... Um, I don't know. Popularized hatred often tend to seem very logical and straightforward at first. <laughs> he doesn't say anything about kill. Yeah, not yet. He doesn't say anything about killing people yet, right? But if you if you go, I don't know, five six years down into his term, then he starts doing it, right? So yeah, at first it's everything is like he's the best person ever. I know, Max. I know. Make himself look like a victim when he started the war. I know. Yep. And he didn't really, I mean, he didn't really, at the very beginning of the war, some of the crazy, insane stuff had already happened. But a lot of what was going on, they were also hiding, right? So, like, a vast majority of German citizens didn't even believe. They didn't even believe that they were taking, you know, literally millions of Jewish people and burning them alive or killing them. Because they put the, these prison camps, they put them... Oh, I have my headphones on backwards. They put them way out, like in Poland or, you know, where Auschwitz is. And so they, they were separated from the general populace. So the general German populace would support it without actually having to face the facts, the realities of what happened. A lot of people just were like, oh, they're just taking them away and we never see them again. Because I hate them, I think that's fine. Right? Yeah, no, he, he, he was insane, but he was also a genius. Okay. No more Hitler talk. That's, <laughs> I mean, you can talk about it if you want, Max, but I, I'm going to jump into some dark wood and probably get myself killed. Let's do this. We made very significant progress into this game uh, last Thursday. And uh, that being said... We did die three of our four deaths, so we only have one life left. Let's try this out. <laughs> he said, "Look like a victim when he started the war." Yeah, if you uh, if you want to learn more about if you want to learn more, uh, I just kicked my desk. If you want to learn more about Hitler, I suggest you read two books. The first one is like about a thousand pages pages long, and it's called "The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich." I have it actually, um, and you should read it because it's genius and it describes all of the political turmoil and Hitler's strategies and um, the ally strategies and the Axis and everything that was going on and why it was so successful and what happened. It's like a book that's like this thick, it's brilliant. And then the other one I suggest you read is, uh, if you can get access to it, which you probably can't, Mein Kampf, which is the book he actually read it, wrote himself. And while it is logical, like you're saying, it kind of shows how crazy he is. Yeah, no, 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 he, he's, he's incredible. Okay. I can't do that right now. Oh, okay. We, okay, so we are, we can't access our map to show chat, to show you wonderful people where we are, because we are currently in a city off to the side of the map that does not actually belong to the map. And we are stocked up, so we're going to want to go back. We have found the last part of the tractors, so we can give this to our buddy who's collecting tractor parts. He's a, uh, seems like a, a bit mentally handicapped kind of 
uh, childish person who is building, who's lost his father, and he's building a spaceship to get out of here because there's no no way to get out on land. Um, he's crazy, but he's very sweet, and he wants us to bring him pieces of this tractor, and he'll trade us stuff in return for it. And so we brought him every other piece for him to build his rocket ship except the steering wheel, uh, which will go on his rocket ship as well. So we're going to try and go back there now. The time we also finally have a watch, and the time is frozen frozen at two eleven. I mean one eleven, or thirteen eleven if you're on military time. Yeah, and we've collected all this good stuff, so uh, we'll be on our way. We finally made a gun, but it's almost broken. We should have one shot in it left. And we've upgraded our board with nails in it all the way. I listened to one of his speeches and I already started to think that maybe he isn't wrong and German people still suffer from last war. Must have felt, must have, yeah, fell for it immediately. Oh, hell yeah. Especially when they're being exposed to, like, hundreds of those speeches and... They don't have access to any other type of propaganda, right? Like, they're getting banned off, kind of like North, North Korea was, right? You know, the internet was not even thought of back then, so people didn't have access to that, right? And it's not like you're receiving news articles from... The average civ civilians are receiving news articles from other places. So, oh, yeah. Totally. Totally. But it's all kind of sad. Because people fall for it... Um, it's, it's a form of oppressive populism is what it is because if you get you know the elites to fall for it and th then they start oppressing everyone else and start make, forcing people to believe it and then if you don't believe it then you get killed or you get taken away and then eventually it gets to the point where if you're a homosexual or if you're a Jew or if you're not Aryan like you don't have perfect blonde hair blue eyes people are just getting murdered left and right and it's awful it's kind of like the logical fallacy, the slippery slope logical fallacy, where it just is like straight, 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 and then boom! Just straight down the hill. Really sad, but okay, anyway. So, our objective right now, and I'm having to remember back from Thursday. We talked to two people. The wolf wants us to get a key to this room, and this kid wants us to get a key to the room. If, if we give the key to the kid, or the weird animal face kid, um, he will, we have to meet him in the silo. If we give it to the wolf, we are going to meet him back at his camp. And I think we're going to go do the wolf's quest. However, we have to go to the well to fr try and find the key. There's some dude there who has the key. It appears you have Aryan bloodline. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Weirdly enough, even though I look Aryan, I have like blondish hair and blue eyes. I'm mostly Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern and Italian. So this is the giant pig god that I killed earlier. You see there's its pig head and all its weird creepy legs. And here's the people that worshipped it. They worshipped it as a god because it fed them. It gave birth to live pigs fully adult live pigs and they would eat them but i killed it to please the wolf so i think there's an alternate like timeline in in this uh game that if you wanted to replay it you could not kill the god and uh do some other stuff oh we can enter the hole now wait where did we just come out oh shit it goes directly to the to the village can we go back in oh we can Oh, that's so cool! Alright, but we have to hurry up, though, because it's starting to get, become night. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. This will allow us to travel directly back and forth. We also... Oh, and we, I, for, I forgot. We can also upgrade our workbench now. Oh, we need more metal. Oh, we need more metal? Are you kidding me? Damn it. Damn it! Okay. Um. Where'd the other alcohol go? Put our bandage on us. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna cook this red chicken egg. Let's go and put our gas up. Alright, 
Let's go outside real quick. I think it gets dark at around, uh... Around like 17 or 18 o'clock. It's much harder to find uh, the traps here because they're slightly buried underneath the grass, which I'm guessing is intentional. So we killed a savage right there. Now your pizza is a triangular shape. <laughs> you know what? We should... We should... <laughs> if I ever get a moat, we should definitely make a pizza mode. I'd be down for that. Because I freaking love pizza. We are undoubtedly going to have a pizza and a coffee mode. I'll take those nails. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to find traps in time. Actually, maybe if we go back to the frozen time, there might be something in there. Let's try that real quick. That is amazing. They just dug that. All right, let's cook this. Okay. And let's put the tape up. You're going to go still hold every. Well, we can put this up because we'll trade it to the trader if we survive another night. I want to make this armor, and I want to make a single shot shotgun if we can. Now your pizza is triangular. I mean, now your triangle is a pizza. I'm totally down for that. What is your favorite food, Max? I would say probably my favorite food is pizza. Which is very stereotypical, I know. Okay, so we can always get back if we need to through this hole. This, this weird random dude dug it. Dug it. Someone is inside this hole. I can barely make out a silhouette. Looks like a grown man with long disheveled hair. He's completely covered in mud. <laughs> he told me to F off last time, so we're going to let him be. For now, at least. I'll take some meat for now. Wait, what? What was that text? I like everything that is tasty. I agree. I agree completely. We're never going to make it. Yeah. See, now all the people are super depressed because we basically killed their god and their only source of food. Oh! This is the tunnel they're trying to dig out through the woods. Stasike, it's your turn now. I wonder if they're gonna. I wonder if they're actually gonna make it out. I doubt it. So the woods are like a, uh, like omniscient force in this game, and they close off all the exits. So these people are trying to dig out. They're trying to dig out because their god is dead, and they no longer have a source of food. Like I said many times, we killed their source of food. We're gonna take 50 nails if we can find it. And we're also gonna try and search. We desperately need another piece of metal. Actually, we need a lot more metal because we need to make more traps to defend our hideout. Oh, we could repair this well. Hmm, interesting. We haven't needed chain for anything else, so I think we're gonna go ahead and use this one piece of chain we have. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh. 
Hmm. Enter the well, you say? That seems really scary. I don't know if I really want to enter the well. Trees are easily burned down, right? I think these are special trees, Max. I don't think these trees can so easily be burned down. But maybe they can be, who knows? Oh, this is where we killed the guy. We'll definitely take wood for now. We may have to drop it in a bit, but... Ah, I was hoping there'd be metal in there. Really, we're gonna have to find some more traps before we find any more metal, I think. Unfortunately, in this second area, they're fairly well hidden. But they do net us two pieces of metal when we do find them, so it's a little easier. A bag, a burned doctor's bag. Oh, okay, so, they, so they, they also hate the doctor. Remember the doctor who found us and tortured us in the beginning of this game? He is from this small village, and they hate him because he left. Um, and I think did some really creepy, weird experiments on some of their, their citizens. No, 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 so I agree with you, but in this area, since it's not on the map, look, if I click the map button, it just says you can't do that now. Um, the time is like frozen in here. If you look up in the le left corner, the entire time we're, we are here, it'll be 1542. Um, and so we can actually stay here as long as we want, which is kind of nice. That's actually why I came here instead of searching in, in the normal area for so long. Because this area is not on the map for some reason. It doesn't actually exist or something like that. If we were to go north, if we were to follow a road north, um, we would go... Well, I'll have to show you when we get back to the normal place when I can pull a map out. But if we were to follow a road north, we would end up right next to the pig barn, which is where we killed the god. And they dragged him here after that. Uh, and then we would also... We'd go through the pig barn and hit the wolf's camp. And that would be... By the time we hit the pig barn, we'd be back in the normal normal time zone, normal area. This place is cold and smells like raw meat. So when I finally came here, right after killing the pig god thing, they told me the leader of the village wanted to see me. So I came down here, and they baited me in here, and they set this monster loose on me. The, the monster's actually gone. But uh, they set it loose on me and tried to kill me. It was actually really awful. And then they attacked me too, but they were super weak. If some hobo killed him. Yeah, well, they just kind of worshipped him. He wasn't actually, like, really that strong. But they couldn't approach him. And so, in order to... They kept him locked up in this reinforced structure. And so, in order to keep him alive, they had to shock him with an electrical shock to sedate him. Then feed him food so it would give birth to these live pigs. These adult live pigs. And, uh... The pigs... That it was giving birth to. Well, when when they shocked it with elec with electricity, um, we actually used the same device they used. There, here's the thing they set loose on me, bastard, crazy thing. We just set it on a high voltage and killed everyone around it so they couldn't stop us, and then shocked it with electricity to death while it was like incapacitated. Pretty interesting, actually. Have you, I don't know if you've seen this, Max, but the developers of this game, um, they felt bad because someone said they couldn't afford it. Actually, multiple people said they couldn't afford it. And so they uploaded it to Pirate Bay. So if you want to check out this game, and they're not sure if you want to buy it, you can download it for free from Pirate Bay, Bay from the developers. And they, um, it's like a no, you know, no tricks, like, it's a safe download. And then if you like it, you can either buy it or support them some other way. By like supporting some of their future content or something like that. It's actually super cool of them to do. <clears throat> There's a bunch of news articles on it that I was reading. But also, the other thing is we're starting sus to suspect that we are not just some hobo. We have like, we're like weird part animal. Uh, like the...
like the wolf is. You don't like that kind of game? I got you. That's cool. Oh, map. Location already marked the pig shed. Okay, so that would if we had taken this map, it would have taken us to the pig shed. Or we could have found the pig shed using it. I just figured I'd mention it. It's pretty interesting that they did that, just generally. <clears throat> what was that game you, you recommended earlier today? Layers of Fear? Did you know that the same people made Layers of Fear that made uh, that game we played like a week or two ago called Observer? They, they both are produced by the same, the same company. Alright, let's go down here and see what's up with this well. Wonder where this is gonna take us. Oh shit. Oh, oops. We climb back up. Yeah, layers of fear. Yeah, the Bloober team or Blooper team or whatever the name of the company is. They um 